Hi everybody, welcome to this live vMix tutorial today about 4K 60p streaming. Now if you saw the last tutorial, we only streamed in 4K 30p, and this time around we're doing 4K 60 frames per second. So today we're gonna have a quick look at how you do that with YouTube and um, see how we go. So my name's Tim and I'm the uh, president here of 4K at vMix. So we're currently pushing our studio PC to the limits um, so we're going to try it out and see how we go with 4K 60p today. So it's kind of a proof of concept just to show you that vMix can stream at 4K 60p, but you do need a heck of a lot of resources. So today we're going to quickly have a look at this. Um, so use the same process as 4K streaming to YouTube, but you need to select 60 frames per second if you want to use it. Um, so if a normal HD production um, uses 4K, that's four times the resources, then 60p doubles that making it eight times a normal HD production. So a four camera production, say for HD, quickly turns to 60 if you're doing 4K, and then becomes 32 cameras if you're doing 4K 60p. Now that doesn't even uh, take into consideration recording, streaming, um, or any sort of video assets that you have. So it's always it's going to be eight times your normal production. So typically here with our studio, we have like a, a three or a four camera, 1080, uh, 30p production. Uh, so if we wanted to run that in 4K, 60p, we'd have to multiply that by eight, and then the streaming, and then the recording, and then all our videos and stuff. So it very, very quickly adds up. So we've had to make a few tweaks um, to our vMix production so that we're doing it in 4K, 60p today. So this is our quickly uh, quick look at our setup. We've got our 4K camera going into our Mageworld Pro Capture AIO 4K Plus card, and then that is going, um, sorry, it's going from the camera to the capture card by HDMI, and then it's going into our PC, our studio PC there, and then we're streaming in 4K 60p to YouTube at 13 megabit, which is the lowest recommendation for um, 4K streaming. So. As I mentioned, um, any sort of 4K streaming is going to take a lot of resources, a lot. So, if you're looking, if you if your PC can't quite handle it, um, you could look at using a second or third computer, sending your program via NDI over the network, and then using the second or third computer to to handle recording and streaming or both. Um, that's up to you. So that's just an option if you were looking to to take away some of the resources, if possible, um, from your main computer. So quickly looking at how to do it, basically you go through the live events section in uh, YouTube instead of the uh, stream now uh, section, and then you need to create the stream, give it a name, then you need to select 4K for the ingestion, which is very important if you're doing 4K streaming, then you need to go and enable 60 frames per second. So make sure you save any change, I think it does it by default, but just to double check, make sure you save all your settings, and then copy your stream name. You need to paste the stream name into vMix, and then make sure that all of your vMix settings are set to 4K 60p. Once you've done that, click Start Stream, and then it will send to, um, to YouTube. Then you'll be able to preview the stream, and then you'll be able to make sure that it's all up and running, and then you will be good to go. So, that's, what we're, that's how you set up a 4K 60p streaming to YouTube. It's fairly straightforward to set up, However, actually running it and doing 4K 60p is, is pretty extreme. So you're going to need a lot of resources and hopefully in the future as computer computing power gets a lot better and graphics um, will be able to, you know, a lot more people will be able to do 4K streaming and 4K 60p streaming, um, you know, obviously in the future. But at the moment it's, it's pushing it a little bit. Uh, so, you know, as more things accept 4K, as more, you know, gaming consoles come out with 4K output, then we'll probably see more, ca more 4K streaming uh, sometime in the future. So if you have any questions or anything about uh, 4K, 4K streaming, head over to our website, vmix.com, send us through an email via our support page, and we can ask, answer any questions that you might have about 4K and live streaming. And we also have a 60-day free trial if you want to give vmix a try. Okay, so thanks for watching everybody. Um, thanks for watching this live stream tutorial and I will see you next time.